This classic masculine shape combines the scissor over comb technique with a textured interior. Prior to starting the cut, the model's hair is prepped with a cutting lotion. The model's bone structure is evaluated to determine the placement of a horseshoe parting, on both sides at high recession to just below the crown. Starting in the center back, the block graduation technique will be used to create an internal guideline. A two inch wide panel is over directed up to the horseshoe parting, held out at 90 degrees, and the line cut parallel to the horseshoe parting. Two inch panels are continued around to the front hairline. Key point, the body should be positioned behind each section being cut so that the guide rounds with the head shape. The block graduation guide is completed on the opposite side and the balance checked. The section is dried to prepare for the scissor over comb. Key point, the airflow is directed from above to avoid creating root lift. Begin removing length at the hairline in the center back, working in two inch panels with the hair elevated in the wide teeth of the comb. The shears should follow the comb in a fluid movement, removing length in small increments. Key point, direct the teeth of the comb out from the head slightly to help create graduation that will meet the block graduation guide. Repeat this movement in two inch panels until the desired length is achieved. Key point, when working around the ear area, work slowly and use extreme caution it is recommended that you ask your model or client to hold their ear forward until the technique is mastered. The hairline around the ear and the sideburns is best approached diagonally. Thank you.
Starting in the back, the entire area is reworked with the fine teeth of the comb to create a more polished blend. The shears are worked flat against the skin to detail a natural hairline. Key point, a barber comb is recommended to achieve the tightest detail in the hairline. The top is released and a one inch horizontal parting is taken from the front hairline through to the crown. The section is combed to natural fall, elevated to 45 degrees, and point cut onto the block graduation guide, which is elevated to 90 degrees. Repeat this process on both sides until all remaining lengths have been cut. A half inch wide profile section is placed from the front hairline to the crown. Starting from a guide in the crown, the section is combed to 90 degrees and point cut parallel to the head shape. A radial parting is taken from ear to ear. Pivoting radial sections are used in the crown area to connect the graduation to the profile guide. From the radial forward, horizontal partings are taken across the top of the head, combed to 90 degrees, over directed up, and point cut square from the profile guide out to a guide from the round of the head. The last section at the front hairline is over-directed back in order to maintain length. Thank you.
The finished top is checked for balance. Using vertical sections, the corner of weight created by the graduation technique is softened via point cutting. The front hairline is detailed by point cutting first at a high elevation to dilute weight then at a lower elevation to remove length. The top is then power dried and a finishing product applied to enhance the texture created. Let's recap. Below horseshoe, distribution is 90 degrees, elevation is 90 degrees, and the cut is scissor over comb, horizontally and diagonally. Above the horseshoe, Partings and sections include horizontal, profile, and pivoting radial. Distribution is natural fall 90 degrees to over direct it. Elevation is 45 degrees and 90 degrees. The cut is square.